Macron decries Islamic separatism and defends blasphemy. In France, um, French President Emmanuel Macron criticized what he called, quote, Islamic separatism in his country and those who seek French citizenship without accepting France's, quote, right to commit blasphemy. Speaking at a ceremony celebrating France's democratic history and naturalizing new citizens, the French president said, quote, you don't choose one part of France, you choose France. The Republic will never allow any separatist adventure, end quote. Macron's separatist government has promised a law in the coming months against, quote, Islamic separatism, but it is not clear yet exactly what that would entail. Wow, calling Islamism a separatist movement, that's pretty, that's pretty intense, eh? That's pretty, yeah. And this should, and other, a lot of people are like, well, of course, this is already in France's law. No, you don't have a world leader taking, like, this is significant to have, like, a major world leader actually coming out and saying, fuck you, we do not accept <laughs> it. This is not France, and this is not French. This is not tolerated. Like this is like symbolism matters, and taking a ma major stance like this does send a signal to everybody that wants to fuck around this kind of stuff. So I'm really, I'm really happy. Rivka, Rivka wants to say something. You're muted. I want to really, really praise um, and celebrate uh, Emmanuel Macron because he really is talking about. A quintessential French values of in, the Enlightenment, the seat of the Enlightenment, and also the laissez that that really is part of the French uh, mindset, the French culture. And because he said this thing, what he said was just fantastic. He said that um, freedom in France includes the right to believe or not to believe, but this is inseparable from the freedom of expression up to the and he says, up to the right of, to freedom of expression and to the right to blasphemy. Sorry. He also noted that to be French is to defend the right to make people laugh, to criticize, to mock, and to caricature. Because he was saying this kind of on the opening of the trial of Charlie Hebdo. So I'm, I really just would like to say, you know, f really... This is just a great thing to hear a world leader say, to say that you citizens have the right to do that, and that's part of this country's freedoms, including blasphemy, including making fun, caricaturing. So, you know, formidable, France. So how do you respond to, everyone is saying France has become completely passive to Muslim PCness. They can say what they want, but the, but the reality on the ground is completely different, Rivka? Well, I think that, it's, that Macron's probably responding to that because he said mm. that they're thinking about having a uh, law about this. And Evan's right. I mean, there's, have, I don't know if either of you have been to France lately, but it's very <laughs> Islamized, especially in certain sections. Mm. And to the point where you get dirty looks, if you're a woman, depending on what you're wearing, there are cafes that are all men, you know, there are um, the spraying in the street. Which, in my opinion, is a way to try and intimidate people because there's plenty of other places to pray. You mm. don't have to pray in the middle of the street. Plus, it's unsafe for them and for everyone else who has to go mm. walking around them and other places. So, yeah, I mean, he's right. There is a big separatist movement. But there's a lot of people in France that are several that generations are back coming from Islamic countries who didn't engage in this kind of thing so right. i think that you may find a lot more support if it's in the voting booth where no one has to know maybe or you know and i just think that uh it's about time they have to do something so maybe so even even is saying france society has caved nobody will speak ill of muslims well i mean they shouldn't they should speak ill of islam but um, and also some problems with the Muslim community as well, Sh uh, many problems. Charlie is one very few who will speak out. So here's the thing, though, the, uh, Evan, that's why this statement was important, right? 
ever. That's why there needs to be a push. I mean, you can't just be like, well, things are bad. This statement means nothing. I mean, things are bad. So state more statements are like these need to be made so that more people feel, get the signal that it's okay to make statements like this. I'm going to mute Rivka because there's crickets. Um, I already mute. Um, it, don't you agree? Like, Evan, you can't just be like, well, it's bad. So like, okay, forget it. Like, but we can't, like, what isn't, isn't the reason why this statement is important exactly the things that you're pointing out? Susanna, what do you want to say? I mean, as we've said before, and I will always say it again, it is not enough to promote enlightenment values. We must continually and perpetually defend them, right? So making statements like this is one way to defend them. We are um, voicing that it is not going away. It's going to continue and we're going to um, defend it potentially in the form of some legislation. Now, I personally am very interested in what this legislation will entail. That's not clear yet. So if you have more news about that going forward, please hit me up on Twitter. My link is in the description, or I'll just be looking for more information about this in general. But if you happen to know, let me know. So I don't know what this legislation is going to entail, but I think it really needs to speak to how people integrate into the country because there is and are issues in France or have been about you know, if you have a Moroccan name or if you come from a certain area that associates you with either immigrants or Muslim immigrants. And so there's some bigotry with regard to that, but there's also because of that. And in addition to that, because of the culture, a lot of people ghettoize themselves and they don't go to public schools. They go to Islamic schools. They, they aren't integrated in France. The only institutions that help a lot, especially immigrants, new ones, are the mosque. So in, in part of this legislation, I would think would be to make centers to help people rather than the mosque, whether that's a community center, whether that's, you know, that's not related to the religion. I hope that that's in some of this, because I think that there's, there's been some studies of immigrants. So I, one of them was uh, Belgium and it was Turkish immigrants versus Moroccan immigrants. And of course the Turkish immigrants were several years before Erdogan, but they had many more support systems that were not mosque related that were not religious okay. related me, and it prevented let me read a just lot of the extremism let me just read two more comments and we'll move to the next news um well first let me read evans evan is saying i agree macron did the right thing by making the statement i'm proposing the law but i worry it's too little too late well we can't give up though right so uh, i hope it, i hope you're wrong uh you might be right though martin is saying this needs to be asserted across europe uh, and in the uk in particular Hopefully the tide is starting to turn against religious appeasement and religious privilege. I hope so as well. Anyways, news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So f that but 
we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized. And that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 